I've seen, believe, achieve. This is former UFC middleweight champion of the world, Michael Bisping. Paddy the Baddy here, and you're listening to Combat Sports UK. And you're watching Combat Sports UK. Kane Darcy, another win tonight. The belt's going nowhere. How do you feel after that performance once again? Um, I think it's one of my bad performances. I got a chance to throw my strike in. All right, I got caught one and two, but I give one or two back as well. And obviously he came in tonight against uh, Tommy. He's a striker, another Welsh guy, looking good. What did you make of his performance? Because obviously you knew he was going to come in striking. Obviously you got the win by submission. What did you make of him as your opponent tonight? Look, Tommy's tough. He fought some really good boys and his straight red really is pretty up there. I thought, got to put the pressure on early and I can't make this shot obvious. So I let my strike and go for a change, which I need to start doing a bit more, but sub is sub and that's what my record chose. I think the most surprising thing tonight was that it wasn't a Dars choke. That's, that's the go-to. Rear naked choke. What did you make of the finish? How did you feel? Um, I gotta be honest, I think it was for the unseen eye, one look, it'll just look like a rear naked. But to a more brutal perspective, it was it wasn't even under the throat, it was my wrist was in his mouth, like it was just on the chin slipping into his mouth, and I thought, oh this isn't this isn't talking, this is pain, and I thought, my squeeze, I knew I was gonna finish here. And we know, we've said it almost every interview since we started doing these, you're one of the most experienced sort of welterweight amateurs in the whole country now. Where do you rank yourself across the country now? It's got to be one of the top. It's definitely in it. If I uh, look at Tabology, they rank me number three. And the two boys above me, yeah, they, they're good, but name a fight that has put it on a line as much and as often I am. Fuck me, it was only six weeks ago I won this. And uh, I was already ready to defend it. And it weren't, Tommy weren't the first name. And... I was ready against anyone who was. And I asked Beth in this question before, and I have a feeling you're going to give a similar answer, but obviously you've kind of done the amateur scene. There's a lot more to do, sure. But where do you kind of put the, the switch to pro now in the calendar? Is it sort of coming up, or are you just going to listen to your coaches? Look, I'm listening to my coaches, yes. But the discussion is starting to be here, and with me feeling a bit more comfortable on the feet, because I've shown my wrestling and submissions is probably the best in the country. All right, my striking is not there yet, but I'm working on it towards it. And if I can let it go like that a little bit more, it's going to get better each fight. So it's in the discussion, yes. And I think the next card here is October time. Would you like to be in there before then? Or is there another? Is there a chance we see you before then? I think for a change, I'm actually going to take a step back and not book anything straight away. Yes, I will fight in October probably, but since my first fight, I think there's been no longer than three months break in between each fight. This time, I am actually going to take a week away from the gym, have a breather, give my body a chance, come back. If I start to put on a bit more size and pick a bit more because I don't need to be picking up losses now just fighting pro by a stupid decision of overfighting. And you mentioned your striking there. Is that something that you're specifically targeting right now in your sessions? Um, look, it's probably the, yeah, I am, but I'm not going to run away from my wrestling subs because out of 11, fight, 11 fights, I think eight of them are by sub. If it's, if it's working, you don't change the cookbook to you. And finally, as always, do you have anyone you want to give a shout out to? Um, well, they're all my best friends in the name, but my two main sponsors is Louise Grumworks and EA Carpets, Barney and Dale. Honest, I don't think I could be in the gym day out, day out without, uh, day in, day out without them. And, my stepfather being uh, every step of the way in the house when to intend to tantrums of my diet or oh, I gotta cut weight again or I gotta do this again and I gotta go to the gym twice today but without them this definitely wouldn't be here. Love that. King Darcy and still once again one of the best amateur world twice in the country. Congrats. Thank you very much.